can see it's like we're just trying to do something professional here, Will. That's all we're trying to do. Will should stay. So, hey, Will. Hey, Will. It, hey so hey. unexpected. We've got a guest. Uh, special we've guest. Got a special William. guest. We've got a special guest here. So, wow. That's Will, amazing. We're, yeah, right? Look at all this. Yeah. You know, you don't think. You guys are all high tech. We're, we are high tech. Well, you use the drugs. So, you got you know. more high tech. Yeah. So, Two hey. computers, yeah. one, two, three, four, five cameras. And that's oh just Jonathan stuff. Just wait till mine comes yeah. out. Yeah. Right, that's amazing. So, we are, what are we doing, Jonathan? Uh, we are going to talk about... Entertaining William. Exactly, yeah. We are, William's entertainment today. Um, no, we are going to talk about the market today, right? Talk about market. Yeah, we are going to talk about the market today. Yeah, yeah we're... We all should stay. Wow, yeah. okay. Yeah. It's like I look like I was like robbing a bank or something right yeah. there on that one. Yeah, we all should stay. So which, which camera are you using on this? So this is the... this. Yeah. So yeah, as you guys can tell, we're really, oh, really high that's tech. That's just recording. Yeah. Oh, I see. That just recording. We're, we're just recording here. Yeah. So we're just kind of warming up. This is um, a partnership that, you know, uh, Jonathan kind of um, pulled me into. And yeah. All, it, yeah, he really did pull me into yeah. it. So I'm always up for something fun. And we've got another, he's also, um, I've got a lot of uh, Tom Ferry uh, people popping in, some of our coaching crew. Um, William, he's also, you know, one of our peeps. He's also, um, you know, uh, being coach. So part of what we're going to talk about right now, already, um, give us some feedback. This is the first one we're doing, and you know we're not driving, so I could actually answer questions, <laughs> right? So that's a good thing. So give us some feedback again. It's you know kind of very, I don't know, a little bit informal, fun. Um, engage with us, ask us questions. Um, give us your. Hi, Lisa. Uh, give us your feedback. Hi, Sylvia. Okay. Um, hey, Dylan's here, too. Hey, come cool. <laughs> See, all of a sudden, everybody comes in. And <laughs> and we camera have, hogs. Yeah. You know, they hear yeah. Hollywood, and all of a sudden, they're here. Come on. Come in. Say hi, Danny. So, this is one of our realtors here um, in hi. the office as well. So She's seeing Huntington Beach right now. Huntington Beach. Huntington Beach. Huntington Beach. Huntington Beach. So, so, if you need anything in Huntington Beach, Huntington Beach, we have someone here for you, too. Yeah. So this is our after hours crew, right? That's yeah. when uh, money is made, right? Money is made in the dark. Yeah. So um, are we set up? We're good to well, go? I think so. I think we're ready to go. I'm just checking my Wi-Fi because my okay. Wi-Fi is so good. let's go. So hi Jessica. Sorry. So every everybody's you know um, wondering how's the market? What is it doing? Is there is there an adjustment going on in the market? Are we going to be experiencing you know another? dip in the market as we did what is it like 12 13 years ago something like that no eight like eight, eight? Ten years okay ago? so i'm a little bit uh, futuristic yeah. Yeah. right so um you know what are we seeing as realtors out there uh, jonathan and i were actually having this conversation a couple of days ago we were chatting about you know how's the market is are the prices dipping or you know the interest rates what's going on with the interest rates so we chatted a little bit about that and we actually had some great stuff um, that we talked about so what's what do you think the market is doing Jonathan I think the market is doing a lot of interesting things just like what Mark, Martha just mentioned the interest rate definitely has been climbing up slowly mm -hmm. you know, not a lot but slowly compared to last year we went from last year in the like the right now what are, mid, mid fours mid last fours year. last yeah. year right now so I think to, to right now low five so you know high, high fours low five high four low five so you know so this needs to be going up um, inventory is you know from what we can see sticking more yeah the inventory is building up more yeah right so we are seeing that yeah and. Uh, Prices, mm, I, you know, we, we talk about the price, you know, because I, I think personally, I don't think I, I've seen much price adjustment, but I think it depends on the market segment too. I think entry level homes, they are still selling very, very good if they are, um, they are uh, price right, you know, so if they are price right, I think they are still selling very good. But, you know, but we also think that I think a lot of sellers are because they are so used to 
last year, the crazy market mm-hmm. or early part of the year, you know, they are trying to list it high and see if someone will buy it. So, you know, so I, I've seen a lot of that too. A lot of um, sellers that price in their home, I think, higher than where it should be. Higher so you the think they're, they're yeah. still getting kind of acclimated to mm-hmm. last year's market yeah. and they're, um, and they're having to make price adjustments. So let me mm-hmm. ask you a question. Um, what what is causing the buildup in inventory, in your opinion, in professional opinion, not just opinion? Uh, build up inventory. Yeah. What What do you think it's causing the buildup in inventory? Well, I think it's just because maybe um, I think some sellers have been waiting. Mm-hmm. They've been waiting and just to wait and see how the market is performing, and you know, and after seeing that it's been performing so good, really for the past two three years, you know, they just think that maybe it's time. No, no, interest rates. And plus the interest rates. Yeah, yeah. Plus the interest rate too. I think the interest rate definitely they seeing that interest rates getting higher and you know, they think that you know they're thinking it's thinking about selling it. It's a you know, it's a good time. Yeah. Okay. So um part of what Jonathan and I were also talking about is that you know, people say, yeah, you know, it's like we are seeing an adjustment in prices, right? So the one thing to bear in mind that although we are seeing an adjustment in prices, it's not anything crazy, okay? It's not anything crazy at all, okay? So in my professional opinion and what I'm seeing out there is to touch on Jonathan's point, it's like we're, to touch on Jonathan's point, uh, you, we're, you know what, yeah. I, I'm seeing text yeah. messages come through so it just kind of yeah. distracted me, so ADHD. I'm really distracted because okay. it's actually a little delayed <laughs> yeah. on our computer screen. So, okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll be up later. So Please. We're still so, looking at ourselves. We, we've got like Hollywood yeah. going on here. <laughs> so, um, you know, we are seeing a price adjustment, right? However, the thing to bear in mind is that, you know, like Jonathan said, you know, sellers were accustomed to a market where they were getting, you know, like multiple offers, Five you know. Offer, 10 offers for yeah. speaking. A bunch of offers were coming in, so I guess to a certain degree, you could say they, you know, got a little bit spoiled, and you know, rightfully so. That was the market. So the other thing to bear in mind is that now we have a more educated, you know, a more educated consumer. Yes. Right, and that's a big deal. We have a more educated consumer to where you know now what they need, you know, realtors for is truly, you know, to fight for, you know, for, you know let's say for their equity, mm-hmm. to negotiate the best offers, mm-hmm. right? We bring a lot of value, Yes. okay? Now, the thing is that they do have access to a lot of the stuff that, that you know, at one point in time, it was like kind of uh, like a hidden vault, yeah. right? It was like they depended on us for every single thing. Now, they've got access to this. So you got a more educated consumer that's just, you know, they know what's going on in every neighborhood that they're shopping in, yes. right? So they're saying, well, you know what, this house sold for, let's just say 500,000. Mm-hmm. Okay, it really had no upgrades. Mm-hmm. So mine for sure is worth 600,000 because you know, mine's got granite uh, countertops. I've got, you know, these pretty colors. I've got, you know, great landscaping. So we're gonna go, you know, we're feeling like 600,000. Right. So now, again, we go back to you got that educated consumer that's just sitting on the fence and they're saying, hey, you know, this isn't in line with the other properties that have sold. So that's part of what's also causing some of these houses to have longer days on the market that, you know, the consumer is saying, hey, I'm going to wait for that price adjustment because we know that the seller is going to come to their senses pretty soon when their home isn't selling. So that's the other portion why you're seeing, you know, longer days on the market for some properties, but you know, it's like the sky's not falling. It is adjusting a little bit to what, you know, truly a normal market is. Yeah. What, do you, what do you think about that? I, I, I totally agree. I think comparing to 10 years ago, the last, you know, the market crashed 10 years ago, um, you know, we didn't have the technology at the time. Mm-hmm. I think between 2002 you know, to 2006, Six, seven. We really didn't have the technology at the time. Um, Zillow, truly, I know those websites came into play around like late two thousand eight, early two thousand nine. Even at that time, it was very, um, it was very primitive. I, I don't know if that's a wide, right word to describe it, but it wasn't. You know, the the, the system it was way off, 
you know, a, a lot of information that us updated is right now. Um, you know, so 10 years ago, there's no such technology right now as today that the consumer can make a more well-informed decision. Mm-hmm. That's one thing. And then, so con- consumer nowadays are, you know, they basically, they can make their own comparisons, you know, and they go to open houses, they are more educated with the process too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What, what do you mean educated with the process? Online. Everything is online. You Google online, you know, we show up, right? <laughs> you Google online, you Google how to buy a house or, you know, what's it, you know, mortgage interest rate or there's a lot of resources online, which I think is great because I think... Um, a lot of times too, like I have clients that I work with, especially I think the the younger generation, first time home buyers. They younger don't... generation, you're talking like you're 90, <laughs> Jonathan. Well, hey, <laughs> this chair is getting old here too. So, um, so but the uh, especially first time home buyers, mm-hmm. you know, they I think a lot of them do their research. They'll Google, they'll you know go on to different discussion sites, and you know they'll watch YouTube videos. They'll go on to different resources mm-hmm. to get their information. So I think consumers are definitely a lot more educated compared to 10 years ago, because I think um, the last market crash has a lot to really to do with, I don't think a lot of consumers are really making very um, informed decision. They just feel like, oh, you know, we can buy this. Let's mm-hmm. just send the paperwork, we can buy this, we can afford this, but they are not really looking into their finances. So I think, you know, so, right now, are you saying that the consumer, that the buyer should be, you know, cracking the piggy bank open and truly seeing how much money they've got in there to oh, yeah. purchase a home? Yeah, yeah. And I always tell my buyers too, it's not about how much you can qualify for. You know, it's, you know, some, some people, they can qualify for a million dollars, but it doesn't mean that everyone should buy a million dollar home. Mm-hmm. They, everyone should buy what they can afford. Exactly. And that, that's really, I yeah. think, for, um, you know, we've got a lot of uh, awesome realtor friends out there. Um, for some of our clients that are out there, it, it's truly not what you can afford because like Jonathan said, you can afford, you know, a million, two million, three million dollar property, but do you really want to, you know, purchase at that price, right? You know, because at the end of the day, it's like what your pain and comfort level is, mm-hmm. right? So let's see, we've got um, Luz. She says she's uh, thinking about buying a home out in Cali, out here in California. Oh, okay, great. so her question is, where would we recommend that she purchase a home? Where's a great place? She loves San Diego. Okay. So that's just maybe a reference point for you. Okay. Um, San Diego? <laughs> you think San Diego would be a great place? Well, I think blues depends on, too, are you thinking about investing? Are you thinking about using it as a, a, as a vacation home? What are you are thinking about doing? I think it's very important because I do get asked that a lot because I work with a lot of um, Actually, I work with people that actually never come to the States before and they bought a house from me. So, you know, so I work with our investors. So if you're looking for investments, then definitely I think it's important to look at the return on investment. Um, you know, that's something that, you know, we are trying mm-hmm. to, you know, really find good deals for our clients. But if you're looking for a vacation home, then I'll probably ask you what's important to you. Do you want to be on the water? Do you want to be in the mountains because we do have like big bear gorgeous mountains here yeah gorgeous mountains here so you want to be by the lake or you know so there's a lot to consider you know there's a lot to consider and that's really our i think that's really where where we bring our value because again consumers can google everything online Mm -hmm. but they can hire the experience from google Sorry. You know what? That, Maybe in ten years, but you know. I, I love that he said that. You know, yeah. consumers can truly find everything online nowadays, right? But mm-hmm. it's just they can't hire the you know the experience on Google. If they're looking at the YouTube, it's like YouTube is only going to show them what's on there. Mm-hmm. And you know, Jonathan and I, and you know, all of these great realtors, um, we we bring you the experience, right? And. The other thing that, you know, we often get asked is, how's the market, yes. right? The market is always great. Mm-hmm. It just depends what you're trying to, you know, to do. What are your individual goals, right? Mm-hmm. But the real estate market truly is always a great market. It, you know, it's like it's going to do its upswings, right? But it, it's always a great market. It just depends what you're personally trying to do. Mm-hmm. Right, Jonathan? I agree. I agree because um, I think... Um, uh, someone actually, I talked to someone about this too. Um, you know, they did. You know, they bought at the height of the market. Mm-hmm. They bought in two thousand four, four, five, or six. 
but they rent it out and they make good rents and everything, it broke even and everything, and then now the market bounced back, you know, they actually make more equity in the house than before. So even though, you know, a lot of people are saying that market is at a higher, you know, point right now, mm -hmm. but it really just depends on what your goal is. Are you looking to invest? Are you looking to live in the house? Because another thing too, I think is keeping our price a little more steady right now is also the rents. Rents right now in California is, I think it's at all time high, yeah. I have to say. Um, I deal with other investor, investors and compared to 10 years ago, a lot of our properties are, actually I should say all of our properties are ranging anywhere about minimum 10 to about 40% higher rent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I remember 10 years ago, um, I was renting out like a one bedroom apartment for like a thousand or nine hundred bucks a month and now all of those are going to about fourteen hundred. Yeah. And then for a small single family home too, they will maybe like eighteen, nineteen hundred a month and now they are twenty two or twenty three. So rent has gone up a lot, you know, for the past ten years too. So you also kinda you know, and I think that's also why housing mm -hmm. um, demand is still high in our area too, just because rent is so expensive. So it, yeah. it's like they're better served by you know by you know buying a property yeah. versus actually renting. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like out here, you know, we're in California, and you know, we just gave a point of reference. You know, that Luce is looking for a property in San Diego. She could be looking a property out in the desert, right? But it's just a point of reference. Um, so it really depends on what you're personally trying to accomplish. What are your you know home ownership goals? Or, you know, again, are you looking to, you know, to live in the home, it's going to be your family home? Are you looking to, you know, to rent it out? Um, what is it that you're trying to accomplish? Because truly, the real estate market, it, it's great in any market. It just depends on what your personal goals are. I agree. I definitely agree. Yeah. So... Um, what questions do we have? I think we should recap a little bit, just um, uh, if anyone has any questions, you know. Um, San, are you still here? Yeah. Hey, Ahu, let's see, Shelly, um, Aurelio, Mio, what's going on out there? Mario and Kim. Let's see, we've got um, Maureen, uh, Lori, how are you? Marianne, uh, Brian Lewis, the real estate market is always great. Uh, let's see, um, we get a lot of people hanging out with us. Janet, wow. Because yeah. actually what I'd like to do too, if we have any real estate professionals that's not here in California or actually anywhere if you want to you know come on Facebook live with us um, just let us know because I think we can just put you on here too and if you want to go over your local market too um, because um, I think in our immediate market you know because mm -hmm. we, we really talk about this a lot is because we get asked a lot I think in our immediate market it's actually very interesting if you look at the consumer behavior and then how the market performs um, a lot of people are saying that market is slowing down, slowing down, but I think for buyers, it's definitely, I think it was just too crazy. Mm -hmm. For the past two, three years, buyers was at such a disadvantage just because inventory was so little. It's so tight. You know, there's like five, ten offers like the first two days on the market. You know, so for the buyers, I think it's almost, buying a house is almost like you need to win the lottery. Yeah, and yeah. you know, here we, we yeah. didn't win the lottery. We did play yeah. here in California. Yeah. It didn't go so yeah. good. Yeah, so, but buying a house was tough, and I don't think it was supposed to be like that. Honestly, that's my, that's my personal opinion. Mm -hmm. I didn't think it was supposed to be like that, you know, because I think that um, real estate transactions should always be... Um, <laughs> so, so are you saying it wasn't like a level playing field? Yeah, yeah, I think buying a home really should be a very pleasant experience instead of like, oh my god, I didn't get this one, I'm, mm -hmm. you know, I, I have a client that cried. Well, you, yeah. you know what, uh, to touch on what uh, Jonathan is was um, is saying is that, yeah, you know, the, the real estate market for the buyers was like super crazy. I don't know if it was, you know, the same for you guys where you guys are at, mm -hmm. but gosh, I, I, I know that it's, it, it was truly like winning the lottery mm -hmm. and, you know, Jonathan says some, some clients cried, you know, I know there was a lot of frustration. Um, so we've, we've got an excellent question out there. Um, which company do we work for? We work for Berkshire Hathaway Homes and Business, California yeah. Properties. And where, where are we located? We're at in Rancho Cucamonga. Yeah. Yes, we're in Rancho Cucamonga. So hey, who wants to come on with us? Let's see if we're able to bring him on, Jonathan. It, um, Brock, we want to be on Facebook Live. No, Brock is shy. He doesn't uh, even know where we work hey, yet. Shelly. 
Yeah. Um, so let's see, we've got some people out from like Florida, New York. I know I saw somebody from New York. Okay, so can you bring somebody on, Jonathan? And if they totally want to be on, they'll hang out with us. And this is really, as you can tell, we're just, you know, having a little bit of fun here. Um, just, you know, Jeanette. What's that? Jeanette? Or who? who uh, what, I saw, let's see, Maureen's out there, Luce's out there, San's out there. They're, you know, hey, Maureen, are you up for coming on with us? I don't think, I know, I don't think hers can because hers doesn't have to bring them on the camera. Okay, yeah. so let's see. Who can we bring on camera? So you, you, have you know, a so lot you guys can hang. On here. What's that? You have a lot of people on here. Yeah, because that's uh, I'm a rock star, Jonathan. You've got more than me. It's like you've got like a, a following, like an entourage. I'm just here with my crew of sixty. Ahu, okay. I have okay, to say, see. Ahu is our good friend that works in the desert. Yeah, she works she's in the desert. Seen this today. Da, 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 da. So why don't you open it so everybody could see what she sent? Ahu, I didn't get one of those. Uh, it's okay. Yeah. Let me see. I'm gonna bring. Ahu. I'm gonna bring somebody on. So, so just kind of hang tight. I actually already um, opened it before. But, okay, let's see. But um, it, was, uh, it was really nice of her. She. Well, I haven't seen it. She. Um, she let's worked see. really hard. Actually, I should buy her a gift. But she worked really hard for a friend of mine. Um, that somebody that's I'm sorry, somebody that's just, not shy. I'm gonna bring you on. Keep going, yeah, Jonathan. Just, she works really hard for a friend of mine that just purchased a home in the desert. Oh, it, hold on. It was a very, very, very tough transaction. And then Ahu pulled through. My friend is super happy. Um, they are working on the house right now. So Ahu sent me this. This show it to us because I want to see it. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. Yeah. Okay, are you guys jumping out because I'm gonna bring one of you guys on? So actually, she sent me a Tiffany pen. Guys. Okay, let's see if um, Janet. We're adding you. See if you want to. Uh, oh, well, that's a lovely pen. It's a sterling silver Tiffany pen. It's beautiful. It, it is, is. Yeah. lovely. Okay, hey Janet, are you gonna come on with us? Let's see if um, I just. Um, Maisha. Uh, Janet Moore. I just. Um, I've never done this, so I'm trying to bring you on camera. Maybe you want to talk a little bit about the real estate market. You're she in. Accept it. Just hang out with us. We're really fun. We're really easy going. Um, there'll be cocktail cocktails afterwards. I'll be having some whiskey. Um, but no, again, we just want to chat real estate. Any questions that you guys have? Um, let's see. Janet, are you going to come in with us? Bring them on camera. Talking about whiskey, um, I watched Martha's uh, Facebook Live on Sunday. Oh. The fitness, coffee, fitness, and what is it? Coffee, fitness, and whiskey. It was great. If, if you guys haven't seen it, you should go replay it. It, it, it. There's a lot of good information in there. They talk about their workout habits and you know and the food intake and it, it was really good. It was a re, it was really good information. I watched the whole thing. So. And you know what? It was kind of long, you guys. It was kind of long. So right now, um, think. Thanks, Jonathan. Um, you know, again, like I said, we're talking real estate and everything here. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that I've personally been working on is just getting all of this hotness under control. You know, just uh, getting myself to where, you know, I feel physically healthy. So I've been working out since when? February? February. February. Yes. Um, so I decided because I have access to such awesome resources to my, you know, to my trainer. She was really cool about it. And she's um, every Sunday. Um, I work out with her from five to about seven. So as soon as we're done working out, um, as soon as we're, well, there's a lot of hotness to put under control, Jonathan. So as soon as we're done working out, um, we're gonna go sit at Starbucks. That's where we were at this past weekend. And we're just gonna, you know, we're just gonna talk about, you know, coffee, fitness, and whiskey. Why that tagline? Cause I love coffee, I love fitness, and I kind of really like whiskey as well. Right, it just seemed like a just like a catchy um, tagline. Yeah. So we're just gonna chat about um, about fitness, really. And if you guys have any questions, you can ask her. She'll be sitting next to me. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're doing. Um, Janet, well, did you come in? I see. No. Her little face is up there. No, she's just watching. She's just watching. Yeah, she's just. Uh, watching. We've never done this, so it's probably not yeah. letting you come in, Janet. Um, yeah. So again, the real estate market is performing well. It's truly. Um, it's a normal market. That's really what it yeah. what it is. A normal market, you know, takes a little bit longer. So as realtors, we have to educate, you know, our our sellers. If you're working with the sellers, you know, they they were in a mindset that, hey, you know, I put my house on the market, and even before you hit enter on the MLS, 
It's like it's sold and I'm already moved up out to Cancun, right? <laughs> so you just have to, as realtors, we just have to educate them a little bit better. So, you know, they know what the expectations in, term of the, in terms of the market are, right? Um, I was talking to, to our broker um, earlier and, you wow. know, Brock Hoover, right? And my mindset in terms of what, um, what the real estate market is, you know, I've been doing this since 2006. I got into the market and decided I wanted to sell homes. Didn't know the first thing about it. I had just, you know, graduated from, from school, not high school, right? But I had just uh, graduated from school. And, you know, I took about a year off sabbatical. Then, you know, head first, I jump in. And about two years later, literally, the market totally tanks. And I'm literally saying, like, a few explicatives in between there, and some that we will not say on camera, Jonathan. But I was literally, what the hell just happened? I had no, like, I've never been through something like that. So, you know, just with the banks, I sold about 350 homes uh, as a, like, as a solo agent. Um, wow. You know, it's like... They asked me if I knew how to do it. I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't even know what REO meant, right? I didn't even know what MLS meant for that matter, probably. So I was one of the, I guess, fortunate ones in terms of being a realtor that, you know, like a few banks trusted me to, to take care of this. And because I didn't know any better, I did all of this by myself. I was like climbing on roofs. I was, uh, gosh, unfortunately, you know, sometimes, you know, homeless were like in there. Um, what am I doing? favorite ones was that I went to check on a property and it, something just seemed weird. You just never knew what you were going to get when you were doing property inspections for these vacant homes. And especially during, you know, our California winter, right? Everybody, you know, it's like, it gets cold. Some of them, they're from New York. They're like, you don't know what cold yeah. is. You guys still have sun, right? So, you know, I have to go, you know, do these property inspections. One time I remember going into a property, it was a really, a really cool property. And so I went in there and I'm not, you know, I usually would check the properties like early part of the week after the weekend, right? Mm -hmm. And so I go into this property, literally there's like, it was a big property. So there was like the bottom of, you know, the first level was filled with sleeping bags. Nobody was in there, right? So then I would always take somebody and like my, my brothers are so protective. So they would say, hey, you know, you really need to be really safe when you go to these properties. I would normally take somebody, um, but you know, they'd say, you know, one of them got me a taser. One of them, um, well, what else did I have? I think I had a stick. I had the camera and pepper spray and you know, actually, I sprayed myself with the pepper spray one time under my nose, like, oh my God, it was horrible. So I went through that market, right, of just, you know, really, um, that was truly survival of the fittest, I think, for the for the realtors. Would yeah. you agree, Jonathan? I, I do. I mean, I, I, I think we had a lot of interesting story, you know, when, when we were, you know, in that bank on short sale mm -hmm. um, market. I was telling Martha, actually, like, one time I had to check on the place in Rose Me, it was so scary no power or anything i try to open the door and the door wouldn't open it feels like someone's pushing me from behind <laughs> oh my god i was so freaked out i just i, I had to go yeah so it, it, it was it was a very interesting time you know? yeah it, it yeah. was definitely a very interesting time um that's when you know when a lot of people capitalized mm -hmm. on you know on purchasing property it's really super low it's like yeah. you know buy low sell high and that's mm -hmm. what you're you know what you're seeing with uh, a lot of the investors they bought low, now they're you know selling higher. I sold properties at maybe forty thousand dollars, right? Wow. So um, yeah, what is the cheapest home you sold? I think the cheapest home I sold was like thirty thousand yeah. dollars. Where? That one was like out in Quail Valley. I literally covered from like Rancho. Oh gosh, I I was like. Where is Quail Valley? See exactly. You don't even know where Coil Valley is at. So I, I was out in Palm Springs. I literally covered the entire Southern California area. Wow. wow. So um, yeah. So they trusted me. So you know, let me preface it. It doesn't matter what the real estate market is doing. Okay. This is. I'll, I'll say this to my realtor friends because I know I have um, quite a few of you guys um, hanging out, and then I'm gonna touch bases with my, you know, my clients, our clients, right? As realtors, it's like, it doesn't matter what the heck the real estate market is doing, okay? 
So let me rephrase this. In real estate for realtors, okay, it doesn't matter what the heck the real estate market is doing. You still have to do the same thing that you know how to do every time because in spite of you worrying about the real estate market, the real estate market is going to do what the real estate market is going to do, whether you worry or whether you don't worry. So as realtors, remember, the market will do what the market is going to do no matter what. No matter if you worry or no matter if you don't worry. And for our clients, right? What do you want to say about that? I think for the clients too, um, you have to have a clear goal. You know, mm -hmm. you, you have to have a clear goal is that if you want to build wealth, it's just still a very good time to, um, I have a lot of clients actually recently started get, looking to uh, transfer their single family into a multi-unit. Yeah, like a one single family home into a, or two single family home into a multi four to, you know, two to four unit. Um, so what your goal is, are you, you know, are you saving up to buy your first house? You know, because a lot of, actually, I know a lot of renters, um, you know, are you saving up to buy your first house? You know, if you are, you know, you are really saving because buying a first, buying a home too, is not just that you own it. It has actually a lot of tax advantage too. Yeah, so if you if you think about it, you know, if you're just waiting, really, if you're really, you know, I, I know a lot of people are thinking that maybe the market is going to drop. I'm, honestly, we don't we don't know. No one really yeah. knows. But if you are always, uh, if you are always so scared to make any decision, you're going to miss out on a lot. You know, yeah. every year on the rented savings you can have or for you know from your taxes. You know, all those will go to waste. So if you do the math, you might not really be saving that much. Plus, interest going up too. You know, that's the definitely the trend right now. Interest is so, like yeah. So what would you say? And you're gonna run the show for a few minutes, okay? Mm -hmm. um, what would you say to that buyer mm -hmm. that is just still a little bit trepidation? What would you say in terms of what they should do, knowing you know what the like the interest rate has been going up steadily. So carry on. I think the first thing is definitely for buyers. If you are coming into the market, you know, in buying your first home or something that you're going to live in, I think the first thing you need to do is definitely figure out financially where you're at. I think it's super important. Um, I know I, I, I was trained that way, you know, when I first started, you know, because it was right after the market tanked. I was trained that way that the buyer should have their pre-approval, not just a you know pre-qualification. They have they should have their pre-approval to you know to you have to know where you are at financially, how much money you can put down, what's your monthly payment, and I think that is more important than ever, especially in today's market, because you don't want to make the mistake that a lot of people make between two thousand two, I mean two thousand two thousand two to maybe two thousand six. You don't want to make that kind of mistake again. You don't want to buy into something that you cannot afford because it, you want to make sure that this is your your home and your responsibility. Oh, thank you. you it's, it's your responsibility too. So you want to make sure that, you know, definitely you need to know, buyer is that you need to know where you are at financially. Mm -hmm. that, that way, you know, that way, I think that's really the most important. And that's I think that's even more important than talking to anyone or going open houses or anything like that. And once you have that, then of course, when we're, I think it's very important too, especially in today's market, you need to find um, the right real estate professional. You know, I mean, I, I know Martha and I, we cannot sell all the homes to everyone, you know, and we know a lot of really great realtors out there. But I think in today's market too, it's really important that as a buyer, you have to have very good representation. You really don't want to work with someone that doesn't represent you in in your best interest. You know, not just to get you at the house, they have to give the right advice too. A lot of times that um, we have to tell our clients the truth, you know, because we, you know, we based on our experience, I think a lot of times we can see, you know, what, what are the faults, you know, for the property or, yeah. you know, we can see a lot of things. I think regular consumers that don't see and that's why our clients work with us because they trust our advice. They listen to us, and and I think it's very important more than ever is that you have to be able to, um, you know, secure your finance, and then you know just have the right consultation, you know, from from people you know, really in the field. You don't want to be talking to just everyone out there and get.
gather all different information here and there because a lot of times I think it's really hard to process. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that that would be my you know my my input for buyers in today's buyers. market. Yeah. Yeah, and you know what? Let me just kind of just touch bases. Um, see if we need to answer questions. Um, let me just touch bases on this. Uh, Jonathan um, brought up a very good point. Is that you know there's all sorts of uh, you have to have it excellent representation and I'm you know looking at just some of the realtors that are watching with us right now um, if you look at our feed I think you could probably see our feed right now we've got a lot of awesome agents that realtors that are from all over the country right so right now um, you know what we see as realtors when the real estate market um, you know the prices start going up it's like everybody and their mother wants to sell you know real estate right everybody jumps on the wagon so what you have right now is you've got a realtor you know not knocking anybody but you know is you know as realtors we protect your guys's equity the consumer's equity right and you know oftentimes that's like our biggest investment so right now you've got you know uh some agents that you know maybe have had their license less than a year ago some of them just do it every so often right this isn't you know like what they do every day you know Jonathan and I you know this is what we do 24 7 this is our career yeah 24 7 this yes. is truly our career and you know we love it we were talking about this just um, I don't know a few days ago I think actually Friday you know this is our career you know we both have a passion for helping our clients and making sure that every time we deliver the same results so you know if you're here in california and you know and we're able to help you um maybe even referring you to an agent you know from our network mm -hmm. or out of the state you know i'm looking right now i've got people from florida new york um i think janet you're in new york right i think you are so i'm um, just looking through some of the feed really quickly uh, we've got nevada mm -hmm. where else do we have um we, we've got a, a lot of you guys from everywhere, you know, so I'm looking at the feet. So the reason I share that, we've got San from Nevada as well. Mm -hmm. um, we've and got Tommy. Ahu, uh, yeah, Tommy, San, Ahu. Um, you know, Ahu's a very good friend of ours. She's out of uh, Palm Springs. So we can refer you if, you know, if you're a consumer looking to purchase or sell a property, give Jonathan and I a call. And even if it's not in an area, give us a call because we're gonna make sure that we put you in the right hands with professionals, not just somebody that's just, you know, it's kind of think about it this way, kind of painful. Think about it this way. Would you rather go to Jonathan that, you know, he's a dentist and has had, you know, 30 years experience, or would, would you rather go to, you know, somebody that just literally just became a dentist like yesterday? Who do you think would uh, take care of you you know, in a more efficient way. So it's really the same thing with real estate. I, I just want to tag on the referral part too, because I think that, you know, because through our network, we did, I have to say, we are very fortunate that we do meet a lot of like-minded professional. Um, so, uh, like I said, my friend that just purchased a home in the desert, Ahu was great. You know, I was, I was, I, I'm really, you know, honestly, I'm really happy that, you know, she was able to take care of my friend really, really good. Um, you know, and then we don't just refer you, you know, our clients to just anyone. Oh, I have no. to say, we really do just do that. We, um, but I also have clients that, I, like I said, they didn't know the, the part of the process work. I had uh, clients that I don't want to name any names. Um, they found someone on Zillow and then they just, you know, went with them, cash buyers, and you know, just went with them. Um, I ended up actually having to do some work with them too, just because you know the the communication is not it's not lacking, but I think it's just that because I know my clients so well, um, you know, so during the referral process we can still assist, you yeah, know, to to make sure the communication and also everything everything is happening, instead of you know I really have a couple clients that just went on you know, Zillow and click on here and you know. Yeah, yeah, and that usually um, might not work out as well as what most people think because you have to develop develop that relationship. Yeah, yeah. it's you know yeah. real estate. It's about mm -hmm. developing that relationship, and your clients knowing that no matter what, mm -hmm. it, it's like you've got you know you've got their back. You've got their best interest at heart. Okay, so um, Jonathan, yes, in is we're let's say maybe buttoning up, winding mm -hmm. down a little bit. 
What would you leave people with in terms of like, you know, it's like, how's the real estate market? What, what should a seller uh, be doing right now? And how should a buyer be reacting right now? Okay. I think the real estate market right now for the seller is still very good. It's still a very good time, definitely, if you're thinking about selling. But I think sellers definitely need to be more prepared. They mm -hmm. really have to do a lot more homework, I guess, compared to you know a year or two years ago. Because um, most buyers are looking for, I have to say, honestly, buyers are looking for turnkey. They want the house to be perfect because mm -hmm. they are paying a lot of money right now to buy. You know, because in Rancho right now, what's our sale, every sales price over God, here? The average is like mid sixes. Yeah, on a on a pretty decent home, you're looking at yeah, like a two twenty four hundred square feet home, you're looking at about yeah, six to seven hundred thousand. A condo right now in Rancho, a decent condo in Rancho is about four hundred thousand. That's quite a lot of money compared yeah. to ten years ago. So buyers, you know, so I think sellers they have to, you know, if you want you, know, you want top dollar for your property, you have to be you know, give you a really good product mm -hmm. to the to the consumer. You know, and also as far as pricing, you have to be reasonable too, because you don't want the prices so high, and then you know set the expectations so high, but the market is over here, then you have a really big gap mm -hmm. to bridge. Because what I see that's actually hurting a lot of sellers right now is that they price they initially price the you know price so high, comes on the market for thirty days, and buyers are getting so discouraged too. Mm -hmm. They don't even want to make a low offer because buyers are still thinking that. You know, last year we were, last adding, year. we were adding on, like three hundred thousand dollar home. We are bidding three hundred fifty thousand, three hundred sixty thousand. Yeah. We were adding on, so now the buyer are feeling that oh, it is you know we cannot you know we cannot even meet that price. We want to you know make the offer, and then the seller start to reduce the price, reduce the price. So what happens yeah. in between there, Jonathan? When a seller prices it up here, let's say in some cases, okay, not all, but in some cases you've got this is like I wish. This were my price. <laughs> okay, you can't really say it, you know, any any prettier than that. Sometimes, you know, we all want the most for for our home, right? Mm -hmm. But we got to be realistic, right? So, yeah. what happens in between the price being up here and then you know price adjustments being made? What happens? You waste time, and time is money. Yeah, you, you just you know if you waste time on like that because I think one thing too is it's a lot of it's also psychology because a lot of times in the buyer's mind. They'll think that just because the home on the market, you know, more than 30 days, that means that no one wants it. And then they want to come in even lower. So if you are a seller, if you are a seller that's thinking about selling, you know, it's very important. It's really very important that you price up, you know, you really want to price right on market because it's going to hurt you. It really is going to hurt you if you price it too high because you are going to not even... If the market is here, a lot of times it might actually sell less just because it's been on the market for too long. And not just the sellers, you mm. have to say, for, for investors too, if you are thinking about renting on your property too, I um, I actually seen a home in Laverne. Um, but actually the price is okay, but it's been on the market for about 102 days. And I, I know for a fact that the house wasn't rented or has not been rented just because of the condition of the home. The condition of the home? Yeah. It's a really good neighborhood and everything, but it's just the condition of the home. It's just no one wants it. Mm -hmm. you know? So the condition of the home, it just doesn't matter if you're selling or renting, they're very important. And the price of too. You don't want to overprice. You want to make sure you're really on top. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you can just minimize your days on the market, mm -hmm. right? So yeah. for that buyer that's been just kind of saying, what, what are your... Um, what's your advice like in, we're going to say in 15 words or less, what would you tell a buyer that, 15 words or less, right? What would you tell a buyer that really, really wants to buy a home, but they're just kind of saying, okay, I'm, I don't know what's going on here. What would you tell that buyer? 15 words, okay. 15 words or less. I'll give you 20. Get pre-approved. That's three. No, pre-approved. Pre -approved. Yes, pre no, pre-approved. They said, yeah, I should get it. Oh, so now yeah. it's semantics here. Okay, yeah. so we'll say two words, Jonathan. Get pre-approved, okay. Um, talk to realtor. <laughs> talk to the realtor? Is that four? No, that would talk to realtor. That's three. That's three? Yeah. Oh, wow. I cut it in that, realtor. Oh, I see. Talk to realtor. Um, get pre-approved, talk to realtor. Um, research. Um, 
ask questions. Mm-hmm. Research, ask questions. Um, research, ask questions. Um, go look. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's still under 20 and you know work with truly um, yeah. a professional realtor that's going to take care of you yeah that's really good that's, okay. that's really good you have to have the right device you really have to have the right device yeah um, I actually I don't know if Patrick is still here Patrick Clark actually joined um, Berkshire Hathaway in oh my god Patrick in Arizona yeah Arizona uh, first year um, do, doing really really well mm-hmm. in, in Arizona and uh, I don't know Patrick want to share what how's the market over there but again there are you know I know a lot of people are really worried about what the market is doing but I think it's really more important that you know you, you know the consumer should have a clear go mm-hmm. as risk risk professional here okay, too so it would be like I don't know if it'll come up right so we'll do it so okay consumer Okay, consumer. Okay, clear goal, right? Yes. Yeah, I don't clear think Clear goal. Is, yeah. Not, not oh, sure. yeah, actually, yeah, it, it, it's short. Yeah. Okay, clear goal. Mm-hmm. What else? Um, financing. Yeah. Financing? Yeah, I would say finance, actually. Know where your finance your, your finances at right now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Research and yeah. research and what? What do you think is the most important one? Oh. Is there one that's more important with the other, or I think, think they are all equally important, though. Yeah. So. not just that oh one thing to I, I forgot to say that and for sellers too you know I mean I think especially today's market right now you really have to package your product really really well you know make it pretty exactly you have to make your house look really pretty have it staged or in you know and I, I, I hate to say this there are still real estate agents out there that they are using their cell phone to take pictures don't you oh my god don't use a like, cell phone that's to take pictures too. No, no, that is bad. Yeah, because okay. So if you could see, if you could see your realtor in the mirror when you're looking at your pictures on the MLS, that's not that is just not something you want to do. Oh my God, Jonathan, you just like without knowing, right. you just right. like hit the hot button right there. Yeah. No, no, no. That, that's actually very true. I, I just can't believe, really, in year 2018, you still have real estate agents that use cell phone to take pictures. I, I honestly, I feel so bad for the sellers, just because yeah. you know they pay a lot of money to hire them, you know, and they are really not doing their job. Because really, if you, it's, it's, you are really selling a very expensive product. Yeah. You know what? What else can is more expensive than a home? I mean, unless I buy a jet. Or Your something. wardrobe. Yeah. No. Um. But, you, but you know, it's true. You no, know, it really yeah. is true because at the end of the day, you know, and this is for the consumers out there. At the end of the day, my friends, my consumer friends that are hanging out with us, is you're paying a lot, a lot of money to have a realtor use your cell phone camera. Mm-hmm. Okay, and. When you know when you're looking at um, what what is Ahu saying? When you're looking at um, at the MLS and you've got somebody, you know, it's like there's a lot of great cameras nowadays, right? But they're used for selfies. Okay, your cell phones are used for selfies now nowadays, not to take pictures of your home. Okay, of your home that we're gonna say out here in California, a very inexpensive condo. What is it, Jonathan? Four hundred thousand. Right? Yeah. So you're paying a realtor to use your cell phone camera on your four hundred thousand dollar home condo. Yeah. Okay. So you truly as a consumer, you know, it's sometimes people are saying, you know, as a consumer, well, you know, this one's charging a little bit less. Okay, when they charge you a little bit less, 
mark my words, you're going to be getting a lot less as well. So it's all, it all goes hand in hand. So as consumers, have high demands and expectations for, from your realtors, okay? You're the boss, you're in control, your house should showcase, you know, gosh, like a home that's being featured on, you know, on TV, right? So just have really high expectations out of your realtor because, you know, Jonathan and I, and I know all my realtor friends on there, you know, we truly deliver uh, results. We truly deliver, you know, a sellable product for our clients. So yeah, that's Jonathan hit like, just like a very, you know, just, it's one of my pet peeves. If I can see like a realtor's face <laughs> in, in, in your bathroom mirror, okay, they were probably taking a selfie and they forgot to take that one out of mm -hmm. the MLS where they put your house on the market. Yeah, so I think for sellers too, it's very important. And then because we talk about buyer, not just all about, because I think buyers nowadays are very vision too. Oh. You know, so when they look online, they'll be like, oh, this one doesn't have any picture in it. Yeah. Even though I, I come across that objection a lot too, is because you know, a lot of actually, a lot of my clients, a lot of my buyers, they actually, they like to look on Redfin, and I always encourage them to do that. You know, they like to look online and then they'll pick out the homes that they'll tell me and I'll show it to them. But so if you don't have any good pictures, they don't want to see it. Even though sometimes it actually is a good value, it's cheaper. Yeah, but they don't want to see it. Yeah. yeah. So. No, you know what? It's truly, you have to put a product out there that's um, really indicative of your home, right? At the end of the day, that's what you want to do. It's, you know, um, you, you, have, you know what? So like as realtors, when we're, you know, looking for homes for our clients, it's, it's like we're going through, because we, we have a very specific criteria that our clients are asking for, okay? So we're saying, okay, they're looking for this. And then, you know, if, you know, the picture is lopsided or dark or whatever, we just keep going. Yeah. You know, it doesn't even ignite us to stop mm -hmm. and say, wow, you know, this looks like a pretty house. So when yeah. you have that, wow, this looks like a pretty house, is realtors, we're gonna pop open the other pictures and we're gonna say, okay, you know what? Yeah, this is exactly what they're looking for. They're looking for that home with that beautiful island, you know? So consumers, have high expectations of your realtors. If it's not Jonathan or I, okay? Make sure that you ask those questions. Do you use your cell phone camera to take pictures? Or do you hire a professional photographer like Jonathan and I do and a lot of my friends out there, you know, that we'd be happy to refer you to if they're out of state or out of our service area too, yeah. okay? Yeah. So I think for the seller, you know, that's very important and for the buyer too, you know, because they are going to be doing their research. Because I, I really think that's the trend, you know, we cannot be the internet, just the internet is to just, you know, everyone is on it, you know, all the websites and everything, mm -hmm. and, and, and it's just important. So you have to have that good first impression, you know, because yeah. the buyers are going to be doing, the, you know, doing their research. And a lot of, I think a, a lot of actually a lot of my clients today, um, they actually start to do their research and they start going to open houses before they even decide, you know, who they are going to be working with. Yeah. Yeah, because they want to kind of just test the water first and, you know, and then before they really decide you know, who they are going to be working with. So, yeah, so it's important. Yeah. So do you guys have any questions for us? Let's see. Let me see. Hi to David. Buy here in the desert. This is awful. Buy here in the desert um, for another day in paradise. Yeah. It's awesome. Nice it is. It's, it's beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful out there. Um, let's see. So, uh, Mario, that's cousin Mario and um, Mio. Hey, Mio, what do you think? Aurelio, give us some feedback, you guys. This is our first one. Maureen, I think you're just a stinking rock star. Son, I spoke to you and I think. Um, I think your baby's really super cute. Lori, how are you, sister? Uh, Mary Ann, what's cracking? Shelly, thank you for hanging out with us. Brian, congratulations on your beautiful baby that's on its way. Uh, let's see. Elaine, Jonathan, I, I need some help here, my friend. It's like you got an entourage here, too. Who's, um, who else? Uh, Elaine, Son, Randy. Say hi, hi to your peeps. Um, we've got some... Daniel questions from Danny which those are usually answered after hours right yeah <laughs> uh, so yeah so that's what we're up to here you guys yeah. um, just sharing a little bit of information you know with you guys out here from Southern California the area that we service and anything we can do to help you guys please don't hesitate to reach out to us if you're you know 
a realtor from another um, state and you want to refer somebody into us, always happy to, you know, to help, you know, our fellow realtors and vice versa. If we know somebody that's in your service area, we're definitely going to refer them to you guys. Thank you for hanging out. Um, yeah. Jonathan, anything else you want to share in party? Well, just if you guys have any questions or if you guys want us to talk about any particular topic, you know, mm -hmm. I, I, I think we're always looking for topics to talk about, uh, to share. Um, so if you guys think about anything, just you know, always please let us know. And uh, we would like to do some research ourselves and yeah. share our opinions with you guys. Yeah. So hey, um, give us like some hearts, some likes. What did you guys think about this? Because you know what, this is my first. Uh, I think uh, my first live doing it. You know, sharing the camera with anybody. My first one too. Right. So what did you guys think? Um, give us some feedback, okay? I know it's, it tends to be delayed, but um, did we? provide I, um, some value? Did we just update you guys on you know, the real estate market, what's going on out here in Southern California, what you should be looking for in terms of a realtor, and you know, all of that good stuff. Yeah. Um, give us some feedback, yeah. all righty? Yeah. Are we good to go? I Talk think we're good to go, and thank you for hanging out with us you know, for the past hour. And, and happy Halloween. Happy, happy Halloween. Halloween. Yeah, Halloween's tomorrow, so be yes. safe. And be safe. Happy Halloween. Minimize that candy. It's not good oh, for the birdies. Oh, by the way, one more thing. I know. What? Um, hockey Thursday. Hockey Thursday. Yeah, rain game on Thursday here. So if you are local here in Rancho Bucamanga area uh, for uh, strikes for breast cancer Thursday, maybe you are coming too, right? Oh, I, I'm going to hockey on Thursday? Yes. Yeah, so hockey on Thursday. Um, takes up $20. So if you need hockey a ticket. On Thursday. Yeah, please reach out. Yeah, yes, I'm going. I, I am going to hockey on Thursday, you guys. Yes. I am fully committed. Yes. Where is it? At? It. Uh, I think it's here in Ontario. Or Ontario. Yeah, but it's okay. close by. It's close by. But it's twenty dollars. It's actually on my Facebook too. It's twenty dollar ticket, and then um, you know it's for a great, great cause. We have two hundred tickets. I don't know how many we have left, but but you know, but the section is two hundred. So you know, so I'm gonna be there Friday early. Hey, this guy, you know, he, he's so awesome. He's a huge, huge supporter um, of breast cancer. He goes to a lot of breast cancer events, you know, so I know you're very committed to it and you always, you're always doing something. Yes. Um, so that's like a shout out to my, to my boy here. Yes, right? yes, yes. So yeah, so. if you guys in the area, please, you know, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. And I'm going to hockey on Thursday. Yes. I have we'll not forgotten. Do, we'll probably do Facebook Live there too. But just See, a minute. Yeah. Just a minute? Yeah, just a minute. Just yeah. a minute. Okay, guys, I think I'm done talking. He, he's like got some energy today. Usually I'm the one that can talk for, you know, years. Well, it's 7 o'clock. It's almost my bedtime. So. <laughs> 7 o'clock. Yeah, so that's bedtime. it. Yeah, that's it. Thank you, guys. Thank you for hanging out with us. And, uh, bye, guys. Thank bye you. Guys. You guys are awesome. Thanks for um, hanging out. The show's over, nothing to see here. To close that oh, one. close that one, not the camera. Yeah, not the show's one. over, nothing yes. to see here anymore. All right, I have to go. Bye.